Hey guys, this is Piyush from PMT. Let's talk about internet and how 5G is going to shape our future. Will it make it or break it? Let's find out. Let's take a step back and understand internet. It is one of the most essential things on the planet today. But before we jump into that, let's start with some good old internet trivia. Shall we? The first ever email was sent in 1971, almost 50 years ago. The world's first website is still online. Two billion electrons are required to produce a single email. I'm sure electrons will pop up in your mind the next time you write an email. Internet sends almost 200 million emails per minute and 70% of all the emails sent are spam. Internet users consumed one zettabyte bandwidth in 2016. Let's have a quick glance to understand how many people really use internet on the planet today. The world population 15 years ago was 6.5 billion and only 15% had internet access. At the end of 2019, we had around 20% increase in worldwide population, whereas internet users jumped to almost 54%, which is more than half of the world population. See how the internet has spread its web around? Can you believe at the end of 2017, Canada had the highest percentage of internet users, while some of the African nations had zero internet users? Now speaking of today, 20 countries are dominating the number of internet users versus the rest of the world. That means 70% of entire users are located in these 20 countries. And the number of internet users grew a mammoth 1300% versus those in the last 20 years. Okay, enough with the numbers. Let us dive back to where it all began. The first generation of mobile network. It was introduced by Nippon Telegraph in 1979. I mean, yes, there were a lot of drawbacks, poor coverage, you know, for sound quality and whatnot. And worst of all, it had no call encryption. What that meant was anyone with a radio scanner could drop in on your call, no privacy. To tackle these shortcomings, Radio Ninja in 91 came up with second generation network, 2G. This was indeed a cultural revolution in networking world. With this, people could send text messages, picture messages, and multimedia messages on their phones. It was also more streamlined by introduction of Edge. Edge is nothing but enhanced data for global revolution. Then came 3G, which was launched by NTT Docomo in 2001, almost two decades ago. With this, users could now access data from any location in the world in the form of data packets. This made international roaming services a real possibility for the first time. With these increased data transfer capabilities now, services such as video conferencing, video streaming, and voice over internet were made possible. You know where we are heading with this, 4G, aka the streaming era. 4G was first deployed in Sweden and Norway in 2009 as a long-term evolution standard. Now, just like you guys, I was wondering why they named it long-term evolution. Let me know your view on this in the comment section below. Now, transitioning from 2G to 3G was as simple as switching SIM cards. But for 4G, it was not that simple. A special hardware was needed. This helped device manufacturers scale up their profits dramatically by introducing new 4G-ready handsets and was one of the biggest factors behind Apple's rise to become the world's first trillion dollar company. Now, imagine the impact it had on the global economy as well. Now, coming to the buzzword 5G. You must be thinking it will be just faster 4G, right? And nothing more. But it's not just limited to speed, guys. Benefits of 5G are going to enable multiple things. Let's see what are those things. Now, obviously, speed is one aspect of 5G. And you always hear it in the context of movie downloads. Like with 3G, it will take half an hour. 4G, it will take a few minutes. And 5G, it will be mere seconds. I'm sure it will take us more time to decide which movie to download. But let's look at another important benefits which 5G will enable. First, autonomous driving. Sure, Tesla is leading the pack, but then again, it's still not there yet. There are a lot of limitations and a lot of improvements still required. With 5G, along with blazing fast speeds, we get super low latency times, which enables devices to communicate instantly. Now you will say, Piyush, it's just milliseconds we are talking about. 
was a big deal about it. But imagine a car going at 60 miles an hour and instant maneuver is required for any reason. The car would be able to do so on its own with low latency connectivity. Now second, another possibility, a doctor performing a surgery from other side of the world. Fascinating, right? Then what about Internet of Things? I'm sure you must have heard IoT. With 4G, another limitation we have is limited bandwidth. Which means we can only connect certain number of devices with given bandwidth. But with 5G, we don't have this limitation, which will enable seamless connectivity across multiple devices with super fast speeds. Now this will help us to connect multiple devices at one go. Imagine your refrigerator talking with your air conditioner, your air conditioner talking with your water heater to understand individual need of the product. Interesting, right? Now how exactly will 5G work? Basically, a service provider can select from these three options. Mid-band being the sweet spot as it provides moderate coverage and much better speeds than 4G. While the high band do provide the fastest speed, but it has very poor coverage, like literally it fails to connect with two walls. Now there are going to be challenges to bring 5G to masses as it cannot use the same infrastructure of what we have today. In the world, South Korea and Japan are leading the pack with introduction of 5G and other countries are catching up. In India, Reliance has just jumped into the wagon of 5G and they have announced their plans to roll out 5G by next year although they have not shared any specifics on how they plan on doing it. We will keep an eye on the developments around the world and as well as in India. I hope you liked our take on evolution of internet and how exciting the near future looks with 5G. Let us know your feedback in comment section below. Subscribe if you liked it. This is Piyush signing off. See you guys in the next one.